Hey, what's up guys? Justin with Tier 1 Gear and EDC Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Riot Bushido, which before I get started, I just want to send a huge shout out to Crane's Cutlery. They helped facilitate my purchase of this excellent knife and I could not be more grateful. They actually deal with a lot of Riots and Pinas, so if you can't find something somewhere else, chances are they might have it. So definitely go check them out. I'll leave a link to their site down in the description as usual, along with a link to their Instagram page as well. Now, of course, this is a front flipper design, and I actually featured it in my previous front flipper video about a month ago. The thing is, I don't feature knives right away that I just get. I like to carry them for a little while and get used to them, kind of learn the ins and outs before I feature them on the channel. Now, this variation has the hand rub trailing point blade, which is made from Bowler M390, solid titanium frame with the carbon fiber scales, now, all of the hardware, including the clip and the backspacer, are made from titanium as well, and it is running on bearings. So, this thing is super, super smooth, and it opens and closes with ease. Now, the overall length on this bad boy is 6.75 inches. The blade is an even 3 inches, while the cutting edge is 3.125. All hail the trailing point. <laughs> the width of the blade is 0.75, with a thickness of 0.127. Now uh, the handle length or close length is 3.75, the width is 0.75 with a thickness of 0.50. Now the weight on this bad boy is 2.630, so an excellent EDC weight. I mean, what, that's an ounce more than the new CF Elite bug out? <laughs> that's really not bad at all. Now speaking of the bug out. We will compare them, which eh, roughly about a half inch bigger than the Bushido, which it's a great EDC size. You know, the bug out, some people do consider that a big knife. I mean, you know, it's not really, really big, but as some people do. Anyway, now compared to the Monterey Bay EWC, you can see it's right around the same size and pretty much fits in the same category of knife. And... I kind of label this as a dress-up carry, so I don't know. You know, to each his own, I guess. Now compared to the so Vivi McKenna, same size as well, or very close to it. Again, it's an excellent blade, and I think they did an excellent job. I don't think they could have done a better job with this design, to be honest. Now compared to the Gareth Bull Drop Mayura, i get them straight again. Yeah, roughly about a quarter inch bigger than that. So, again, great size. I have no complaints on this knife whatsoever. It's just, man, you really have to have one in hand to really experience it. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of the trailing points at first, not on a folding knife. You know, I do have a few fixed blades that have it, and they work really well. It has that, you know, traditional Japanese kind of look to it. But man, my inner ninja came out when I seen this bad boy, and I absolutely had to have it. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Ace Clyde, which I don't have next to me here. And it kind of favors it in a bit. It's a little bit bigger, but this is a much better knife. And you know, twice the price. Anyway, again, huge shout out to Crane's Cutlery. They definitely hooked me up with this, and I could not be any more grateful Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Instagram for much, much more. Stay safe. See you guys on the next one.